Hi you guys, it's Brittany and um, I'm just testing this out and stuff and um, um, I want, I have these frames I want to alter and um, they're these vintage frames and they look like this and um, so I thought I'd just show you guys as I work on them some of the products and I'll show you as I go um, along some of the pro um, products I'll use is um, I'll be using masking tape if I find it. If not, I'll use washi tape. Um, I'll be using my Prima Arcme paint. So some of the colors here that I have that I'm thinking of using is the Opal Magic Yellow. I don't know if that's coming up backwards for you guys, but um, the Yellow Blue and also from the Opal Magic is the violet green which is this color here which kind of matches the color that's already on here and then there's the green gold which is a little bit of a deeper gold which also um deeper green which matches this exactly and then the aqua rose which is a pink with like a rosy shimmer and then i'll be using the metallic um black berry which is this color if you guys want to know any of these item numbers, just let me know and I'll comment them down below. So, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover where the mirror is to protect the mirror from getting any paint on them. And then later on, um, we'll just start painting. So, I'm going to take some masking tape, if I can hopefully find it. One second. Or not. I don't know where my masking tape went. So I'll just be using a washi tape, which is pretty much the same thing. Just like one of the pretty tapes. Let me just find one that I can use really quickly. Sorry. La 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 la. la. Alright, whatever. This will be good enough. So I'm just going to use a tape because I don't know if someone took my masking tape. <laughs> So I'm going to cover the mirrors, so as I feel this, ooh, there we go, it's being a little feisty with me. Every time like I'm working on something, I have no problems, but every time I go to do something on video, it's like you always have problems and this tape isn't working. <laughs> I'm like just having bad luck with this. So let's try this again. <laughs> this is like, I have like the worst time on video. All right, let's find a better tape. All right, this should work. And won't give me a problem. <laughs> All right, since I lost my masking tape, I need a really good tape for this. So now I have tape that works. So I'm going to just place this in where the mirror is to protect the mirror, mostly just on the outside rim of it. I'm not gonna worry much about the inside yet. So I'm just going to focus on placing the tape on the outer rim of the mirror because that's where my biggest concern is just while painting. When I go into spraying and stuff, I will put tissue paper or a piece of paper down in here and I'm just gonna so I'm kind of gathering it as I go because tape doesn't always, you know, go around. So you just kind of want to gather it like that. See how I'm gathering it? So that's how you get it. Best coverage on a circular surface. And I'm just doing this because I got bored and I just felt like doing a video. And um, so yeah, I actually, I'll show you guys my recent project I just finished. Um, Hi Patricia, hi Aunt Dina, hi mom. Um, this is the sneak peek at my, here's the project I just finished. It's a um, starfish canvas and it's mixed media. So I will do up close pictures. Hi Monica, look at my mixed media canvas I did. I just did this. So, and it's a real starfish that I got from one of my girlfriends and um, so, yeah, 
I'll be doing a video on that soon. So I'm just altering, whoops, there goes my camera. I'm just um, altering these mirrors here. Ah! Sorry guys, this is my first time doing this, so just bear with me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be painting these with my Prima Arcme paints. Um, Monica, I don't know if you have any of these, but I think you might've got new ones recently. Um, but I love them, so they're the best. So, someone stole my masking tape, so I had to use washi tape, which is pretty much fine. So I went around the outside of the mirror, so I'm going to do that to the rest of them to protect it from the paint. So I know this might, this is the time consuming part, but it's fine. <laughs> I have all the colors too, Monica. <laughs> I bought all the colors. <laughs> I absolutely love them. Hi, Karan. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to be going around again, the mirror, gathering the tape as I go around the mirror to protect the mirror for when I go to paint. So, and for the people who, um, just joined, I just did this. This is my starfish mixed media canvas. I made it look like it came from like under the sea and stuff. So that's that. And I see some of my friends are here. Hi, Lewis. How's your summer going? Hi, Karan. Um, some of my friends are on here. So thanks for supporting me. <laughs> this is my first time I'm doing this. And um, so you guys, all my friends know I have my own um, art business and they're all very supportive and they all really are interested in what I do and stuff. And it's Really nice to have friends like that. Okay. So I know this is the boring, time-consuming part. That's why I'm trying to talk to you guys as I do this. Because it is... Putting tape on a mirror and watching someone do it is not the best thing in the world. But there you go. There's the tape again. And then I'm going to do the same thing for this last one. So... Just take off a long piece and again just going to gather it and these are really heavy they're like um i think they're poly uh resin they are extremely heavy so that's why i'm not adding i'm not going to be adding any metal embellishments to this because it's already heavy as it is and in order to you know like stay on the wall and not be too excessively heavy i'm not going to add stuff like that so i'm going to do use mostly paints and different mediums and such to alter these mirrors and I'm really excited to see how they come out and this is the really boring part I know but um yeah so This tape is not being the nicest to me. All right, I'm actually going to cut it a little bit because it's kind of gathering up a little bit. So, all right, that's good enough because I'm not going to fuss with it because I'm going to get frustrated and I'm good enough. So, there that is. Good enough for me. Thanks, Monica. I'll inbox you some pictures when I'm done. Um, so, yeah, I have to make sure the top um, is... The, where the hanger is, is the top so I don't screw up. So first off, I'm going to use the green gold Arcme Paints by Finabar Prima. And because this is the closest color to this anyways, and I want to kind of keep with this color scheme. So yeah, and I'm going to kind of bring my camera down just a little bit. So again, this is my first time getting used to it. Um, so... So I'm going to take these off. Most of the time I keep the tops on this because um, it just seals the paint and keeps it from, it prevents it from drying out because 
there's that space in there and these dry out actually fairly quickly if you don't take care of them. I accidentally left the top off of one overnight and I came back and I almost cried because <laughs> I was like so upset. And these are not like cheap either and they're little paints but um, they go a long way. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna start painting so I'm just gonna grab a paintbrush next to me. Let's see, which one do I wanna use? All right, I'll use this one. So I'm just gonna grab a paintbrush and I'm gonna go in and um, and I'm just gonna start painting my base coat with this color. So I'm gonna go in and this will be my base coat and I'm just gonna go and I'm just gonna paint. So let me move this over so you guys can see what I'm doing. So using this color, you, it's still, you can see where it's distressed with the brown. Using this paint, you're still gonna get that distressed look anyways. So, lots of fun. And I'll pick it up in just a second to show you guys what I'm talking about. I'm just painting the inside being really careful to not hit the mirror even though I have tape on there some areas still are exposed and I'm just going All right, I'm almost done with the first base coat for these, and I will pick it up and I will show you guys in just a second. Alright, so if I pick this up, you guys can kind of see the gold now, that greenish gold color. Really pretty. And it's still that color, it just has that gold tint. I know it's a little, it's, the lighting here is a little crappy, but that's what I did. So if I show you the difference, this is the before color, and then this is the after color. So you can see where that metallic color comes in with that paint so it's just um, gonna be the base for our other paints because it's it's already that green color so this is just giving it that gold tone so I'm gonna keep painting with the Prima paints and I'm just gonna go over all three of them and that will be my base color and then I will be going in with the other colors and adding um, details and those kind of things. And I know it could be a little boring to watch someone paint and stuff, but um, I just thought it would be fun to go on live and stuff um, and show people just a project and, you know, it's better than, you know, just sitting here and doing it by myself. I might as well do something. 
um, and show people. So. So once you're done with that, I'm going to do something really cool too. The reason I'm not painting the outside edge is because I'm going to do them a different color to make it like pop almost. So, oops, I got paint on the mirror. That's not good. <laughs> um, and then again, here's the gold so you can see the difference. So I'll put them next to each other. You can see the difference. And so here's the last one I'm going to do. And again, I'm just going to go in and paint it. I know it's a little boring to wash them in paint, but um, once I get into the other colors and stuff, it will become a little more fun and entertaining, um, especially when I get into like the splatters and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you know, you have to put like a base coat and stuff, and you have to have some kind of, you know, base. And um, I want to put that greeny gold color as my base because it all this um, these frames are already this green color, so why not distress it and add that metallic color as our base? Will be really pretty. So it's fairly easy to do. You just want to paint. I don't know how long I've been on here already, <laughs> but So I'm almost done with the final base coat and we can go in and the really cool thing about this because it already had that brown distressing on the frame because you add the gold it just looks so cool like and like the effect it gives you is really really awesome so I'm just going in and I'm painting the inside here and we're done with that base color. So here is the last one. So you can see where it's like that distressing. Just gives it that really cool tone and color. It's a little hard. The lighting here is just a little bit rough. <laughs> um, but now that I have all three done, I'm going to go in with my other colors, which are going to be really, really fun. I'm going to dry these real quick, and I apologize about the um, the noise real quick. So I'm just going to go in and dry these. Hi, CJ. What's up CJ? What you doing? So there is the painted base of the mirror. So with that gold 
tone. Hi, Mary. And I'm going to go in with um, my other paint colors. These are the Prima Arcmay paints, um, which is what I'm going to use to add the detailing and the distressing and the really cool color tones and effects with these. Um, for all the people who are just joining, this is my recent um, project I did. This is a real starfish, and I, it's a canvas I did, and it um, was inspired by, like, mermaids and, like, something that was under the sea, and, you know, it's been there for a long time, so it's, like, kind of like that. I know the lighting right here is really bad, so it's probably coming up a little bit not that good of what it would. Is that for me? I don't know if you want it, CJ. <laughs> um, so, I'm going to go in and start with my other paint color. So, I'm going to go in now with the other green tone, which is this one. And this one has a pink in it, if you can see the difference. This one has a gold, and this one is that pink color. So, I'm going to go in and I'm going to add that to the detailing. And it's going to look really cool. Especially when I get into like the splatter effects and stuff of the mirrors. Um, which I'll show you soon. Um, I know it can be boring to watch someone paint, but it's actually pretty cool to see the how these paints interact with each other. They have like a chemical reaction, and it's really cool. So there's the paints, and I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna just add another layer of paint. And I'm actually really just gonna roughly go over this, so I don't care about co covering like the whole area. I'm just going over and touching like the raised areas. And that's how you're going to get like a non-perfect effect on this. Um, so it looks more distressed and ornate and stuff. So, so you don't want something that just looks painted. You want like a really nice effect. Um, I do this with spray painting too. When I spray paint, I always layer. And I do this really cool splatter effect when I spray paint. It's really cool. So I'm just going in and roughly touching I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference with the lighting but I'll show you you can kind of see where it's a little more pink now than before if you kind of see the difference you can see the color tone difference just a slight bit so and that's just the first layer too I mean, it's easier to see in person, especially because the lighting right here is a little bad because I'm on by my desk. So, again, I'm just going to go over this roughly on the raised areas. And it creates a really cool color effect. And... I'm going to add these later on. I'm going to add these really cool flakes like this. And they look like fish scales. So it's going to add this really cool mermaid-y kind of effect. Almost. Because these remind me of like vines. And especially this one reminds me of like seaweed. Like the design on it. So. I like it. I like the idea of it. So here you can see again the pink tone now on there. With the different colors and we'll start layering up as I continue with different paints so I'm just going to and it has a larger effect obviously in person but um and it's gonna be harder to see on camera but it's all right I once I got the other colors it will come out probably a lot better like the other colors will so again, I'm just going quickly and roughly over this, which is what you want for that distressed look. Um, all right, I'm done with that color. So now I'm gonna go in with this yellow and pink color. Hi, Rai. Mm -hmm. Why are you texting me while I'm on here? So, 
this is just adding to the pearl color and all those kind of it's just going to add to the color so you know how like if you see like an iridescent pearl kind of like that that's kind of what i'm going for so i'm just going to keep layering until i'm happy with it so i'm kind of going for that pearl effect so I'm going to do all of them like that. And I'm only roughly doing this because then the bottom where it's not raised will mostly stay that basey green color. And it will keep and the lighter colors will be on top and it will make the contrast a lot better. I don't think, I don't care if it's stupid, Rye. I was bored and I just wanted to do it. And it's fun to be able to show people what I do and stuff. So I appreciate it. You might not, but I'm an artist, so I appreciate it. And I like watching other people who are other artists that do it. So I don't mind it as much. And... If you don't want to be supportive of what I'm doing, then don't say anything at all. Because I don't want to hear negativity. And I enjoy what I'm doing, so. As long as I'm happy, then that should be enough. Alright, so now that I'm done with that, I have that pearl effect that I wanted. And the last color is this pink tone that has like a blue in it. So there you can kind of see the more pearl color, kind of looking more like that. There you go. That's how you get like that iridescent effect on something that's not iridescent. The last color is that pink tone for that. Hi, Joe. So, um, oh, Joe, now that you're on here, I want to show you what I did with your starfish. This is what I did with your starfish. I just finished this yesterday. So I wanted to show you that. That's your seashells and the starfish I bought from you at the yard sale. <laughs> um, so I'm going back in with the the pink. Well, I'm going in with the pink because I'm getting, I want to make this that pearlescent effect um, painted on to create, it's kind of going to be like a nautical thing. I've been really into the nautical stuff recently. So I'm just, I'm moving the camera so I can read the, the comments. So I'm going in with the pink tone just to add more layers of the pearl colors. Just like in anything that's iridescent, it has all the different color tones in it and effects. This one's coming, these two are coming out to be my favorite, probably because they have more detail on them. So really fun. Quickly going over this. Alright, I'm almost done with the paint. <laughs> I know it's boring watching someone paint. <laughs> Chris, I'm actually, um, CJ, I'm actually um, advancing my business, so I'm actually really excited. And um, I'm really happy. So, all right, this is the last one, and then 
I can go in and do the fun stuff. All right. All right. So let me show you how that pearl effect came out. Again, you can see how it looks just like the iridescent, um, the iridescent uh, pearls. I'm a righty, Joe. It's coming up. It's coming up um, opposite on my iPad. I don't know why. Like if I go to show you something, it comes up. I think backwards. So yeah, I own my own business, CJ. Since I was 12, I own an LLC, which is a limited liability company. I make a lot of fun. Anyways. So, now that that's done, I'm going to do this really, 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 really cool effect um, with these Mica Magicals by Lindy Stamp Gang. They are like a powder, mica powder pigment. And when you spray them with water, well, I do something differently with them. I like flake them onto a project and then I spray it with water and then they go like that. And it's really cool. So I'm actually going to go in first with this pink color. And it's going to come out really too, uh, cool. And I'll pick up the camera to show you guys as this goes on. So I'm just going to take um, like a palette knife. And I'm just going to scoop some of the mica powder up. Like that. And then you just tap it on the project that you're working on. Try to keep it where it's like not in big clunks. The higher up you are, the more it spreads. And then same thing for this one. Just get the pink on there. Might take a couple times, but it's okay. So with you just tapping, you can see where the pink is on there. And then you keep tapping. And it's a little time consuming, but the effect is really, really cool. So. almost done. I'll finish this one and I'll show you these two before I do this one. So I'm going to pick this up real quick. Put them around and I'm going to hold it so you guys can see. Oh look it looks a little better now. So I'm going to spray this with water and you will see the effect that it gives. So let me move this so I don't get that wet because that would be bad. So I'm going to spray it with water. You can see how that spreads out. Again, I'm going to spray it with water. Oh, there's my phone. Way to go, Brittany. Spray your phone with water. <laughs> so, really cool. And I'm spraying it a lot because I want it to not be so deep colored. I want it to spread out more. So, that's how you get that really cool effect. And then I'm going to dry some of it. I'm going to blot some with a paper towel. So hold on one second. Bear with me my first time doing this. So if I take some paper towel, I'm just going to go in and blot up some of this. So it's not too dark. That's why I keep spraying it. And you can actually, the more, something that you don't like, um, you can just, when these get too dark, you can actually just spray them with more water and I made a mess with water. I sprayed my phone. That was really smart, right? <laughs> Spray your cell phone with water, Britt. Um, so any areas that are like too bright, which I don't want it to be too bright, which I probably should have used a lighter pink. I don't know why I use such a bright pink. That's probably stupid. But you can just spray it more and it lightens up the color. Which is what I which is really cool. So and this just adds like the distressed kind of look. Kind of like a rusting effect, but I use a different color. It's kind of hard to soak this up because of all the detail in here. But I'll get it. Anyways, maybe if I rub it a little bit. Yeah, that worked. 
All right. Let's take care of this one because this one's soaking it up really bright and I don't want it so bright. Actually, this kind of looks good bright. So maybe I'll leave this one bright. This one looks pretty cool. So. I might leave it this color. I just gotta... So just keep spraying it till you're happy with it and blotting it until you're happy with how the color is and how the effect is and so forth from there. Yeah, that's true, Joe. So that's kind of how it came out. So you get that, um, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, you get that like, distressed, aged kind of undertone almost, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense. I'm actually going to add a little more pink to this one because this one got a little, it's like, not the best. So, uh-oh. I'm picking up other colors that I shouldn't be. Okay, let me wipe down my mat because it is wet. That's not good. So, I'm going to go back in with the pink to kind of fix this up. And since this is already wet, it will spread already. So, cool. Away. I'm just going to keep adding some pink. And since it's already wet, it will spread a little bit as I put it down. I'm going to close that up because I'm done with that color. This one I'm not going to do the pink with. I'm going to do a different color with this one. And I got water all over the place. And I'm just going to keep spraying this till I'm happy with it. So. And I'm just going to blot it. And just keep blotting it. <laughs> That's pretty much it. It's the same. You'll have to do it over and over until you're happy with how it came out. I'm trying to lighten this up a little bit, but keep some of the dark areas. You can see just blotting it pretty much. There's some areas that are super dark and I don't want that. Even on there, but that's, it's like lightened up a little bit. So on here, it hasn't. So I wish I had like a Q-tip because that would be really helpful right now. Let me, all right. So it's pretty much just keep spraying it till you're happy. All right, I'm getting a little bit happier with this. So there is that one. Do you guys see the difference? So that's the difference and I'll show you the other one too and I'm going to have to dry these so um, bear with me for a minute because um, my heat tool might be a little bit loud and I apologize in advance for that let me just wipe down my desk and my phone because I sprayed my phone and that was not smart. And I'm going to take a quick sip of 
for my coffee. Alright. Debating if I want to do this one with the pink too. I think I'm just going to do this one with the pink too. So, let me dry these first. Actually, I'm going to let them air dry a little bit while I'm doing this one. Moves over. Wipe this down, and I'm actually going to grab more paper towels just to put it underneath my project. So, again, anyone who just joins, here's the difference. Um, same thing with this one. This one came out really good. Here is the difference. So, really cool effect. And if you guys were here in the beginning, if you saw how these looked before, they looked like that before. I didn't paint the sides yet because I'm going to do something different with them. So, I was debating about doing this one pink too, but I'm just going to do it anyways. I also have this copper color. I'm going to add to um, these kind of to give like a rust effect to them. So I'm going to go back in with these and what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to spray the mirror beforehand and I'm just going to see how this comes out because um, it kind of spread better after, I don't know, it was less dark if that makes sense. So I'm going to just tap this over this and this one's a little different because this one doesn't have as much detailing so maybe this one will come out. I got to make sure though that the paint goes on the detailing because that's where it stands out. So, yeah, it's a little just different, this one. This one's not my favorite one just because of the less detail. I like them when they're more, whoops, I just put a whole clunk by accident. All right, let's see if I can, all right, that'll work. Just flick it. <laughs> I just dropped that whole thing accidentally on there. Whoopsie. Still doing it. All right, that's good. Maybe I put too much, but oh well, I'm going to blot it anyways. Alright, so this is what it looks like when you just do it. And we're going to spray it more with water. Just spread this out. That one went really pink, especially right there before I spilled it. Oops, I'm running out of water in my thing. So let me, let me refill this. Mm -mm. I have extra water here, so let me just fill this up, and we're going to keep going. Alright, so I'm just going to blot, 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 it's <laughs> pretty much how, to, how this works. Blot, blot, blot. I don't know how long I've been on here yet. So, anyone can tell me. Maybe it will, will it tell me. Oh, 43 minutes. That's not that bad. I know it shuts you off at like an hour. Or something like that. But... We'll see what happens. Alright, so again, I'm just going to keep spraying and keep um, um, blotting. Because that's how you'll get the even effect on these. So I'm going to keep spraying. So again, I'm just going to... Keep blotting, keep spraying, I'm gonna wipe down the mirror a little bit. This one's a little difficult because it has some of these deep crevices. So I'm gonna I'm trying to use like my nail and stuff to kind of get in there. Like I said before, I wish I had a Q tip. That would have been probably easier. to break some of these areas up that are way too like like they're like dots almost like a dot of dark and I don't like that so I kind of fixed it already so 
do this one. This one's actually more difficult than the other ones because this one has all these little tiny little deep areas. Hi Danielle! I'm working on these mirrors here. So I'm making like an iridescent, kind of like nautical mermaid inspired um, mirrors. Because they kind of look nautical when you look at them. Like there's like the shells and those kind of things. So that's what I'm eyeing for. And I got them already to look kind of like these iridescent, you know, pearls and stuff. So yeah, I'm almost done with breaking this one up with the pink and stuff. It's all about blotting and... I'm going to be adding the copper soon to kind of give like a rust effect, which will blend with the pink, which is what I'm a little nervous about, but we'll be okay. All right, I think, nope, there's still these few little areas that are bothering me. All right, almost done. It's a little, it's really hard for this one because there's like really thick pieces on this one. All right, I think I'm happy with that now. So I'm going to dry this and I apologize in advance if it is um, noisy, my heat tool, so, but I have to dry them. So just, you guys can log off for five minutes or whatever, um, but I apologize in advance. It will be a little bit loud. So I'm just going to dry this. I'm going to let this one sit a little more because that's like... The newest one and these are literally let a little bit air dry so I'm just going to dry this Sorry, this takes a little while, so I'm sorry about the noise. Okay, so this one's dry. I just removed the tape. Um, there is ink and stuff on the mirror, but that will come off when I wash it off. Um, wherever it's wet, I'm actually just going to rip off some of this paper towel real quick. 
and I'm just gonna just spray the mirror real quick with water and just wipe them down because they'll get a little more dirty but it will just prevent any staining on them so this one is now dry and you can see how that came out really 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 pretty effect so that's how that came off so if you guys have been here since the beginning you've seen the before and the after I'm also going to be adding some like copper color to kind of add like a rust and then I'm also going to go in with these flakes to kind of look they look like scales almost that will add to the mermaid nautical feel so that one's dry the other ones are still air drying so I'm gonna let them air dry so I don't bother you guys anymore with the heat tool um, so I'm just gonna work on this one for now um, in the video for, um, with the copper color and the rest of it just so I'm not bothering everybody with drying all three at the same time so this is the magicals copper which is a nice copper color this one I'm gonna do very very little of just because um, I don't want it to dominate over the pink. I just want to add like a little bit of a rust kind of color. So this one I'm going to kind of add in like the crevices and just be fair. And I'm going to add it randomly all over this. Because when I spray this again with water, it will activate the pink. So that's why I want to be fairly careful with this. And again, I'm just adding it in random areas. And I'm adding very little of it. seems good enough to me so this is where I'm going to do that rust effect and again I'm not going to spray as much because it will activate the pink again even though I dried it so you just want to be super careful when doing this you can even hit it with a paintbrush but I'm lightly going to spray this wherever I put the copper color and this is just going to add that rusted kind of color tone in here um, which is something I really want and actually something to prevent um, um, this color dominating the pink, you can always um, do the pink and the brown at the same time. They kind of will mix more. I mean, it's going to mix now too, but it will help with keeping the pink on here. So you can see that I'm specifically, I'm not like spritzing it like I did before. I'm keeping it in the areas where I had it specifically. Uh, where I dropped it so yeah so you can see there how it has like the areas and I'm actually gonna just move it around a little bit just like that just move it around so you get that rusty the rusty color and I'm just gonna take another paper towel and I'm just gonna dab it all over And this gave it, um, it's, the pink is still there. It just gave it a little bit of a rusty tone in some areas, if that makes sense. So, um, all right. So let me just dry it really quickly, and then I will show you how it looks completed. So, I'm going to finish. So I'm going to dry it. Apologize again for the noise. But I'll, it's not dry, but I'll show you real quick. So that's the distressed. So you can see where that brown is and the undertone kind of gives it like a more distressed old rusty color. I think I actually might add a little more brown uh, of the copper to this. So I'm going to go back in. And because it's already wet or damp, I can just go in and, and it will spread on its own. So I'm just going to go in a little more with this just to get a little bit of those darker areas on this. So 
again, it's going to go in like this. And I'm going to spray it again. Hey, Logan. <laughs> so I'm just going to spray those areas specifically where I dropped the, um, the mica powder. And you can see how it will react. And again, I'm being very careful because I don't want to lose the pink tone I did before. All right. And I think I got all the areas. So this is what I'm going to do now. Instead of dabbing it right away, I'm going to dry it slightly. And then mm -hmm. um, I'm going to take, then I will dab it a little more. So I'm going to spread it around a little bit. You can see how it's going to spread around. And then I'm going to dry it a little bit. Right, it's not fully dry, but I'm just going to go in and dab a little bit of the excess. And the reason I dried it first, because the main tone, because if you dab it right away, with the, it will soak up mm -hmm. all the color. Doing this, it will at least dry the base color tone, and then any excess or too much or too dark, you can actually remove it that way. And um, it will help prevent... And then you can, it will keep where the color is, the saturate, saturate, oh my god, I can't speak. But anyways, so, all right, CJ, if you're on there, what do you think? That's the, pretty much the finish tone. Um, so before, it was this color. I don't know if you guys can see. It looked like this before. Now it looks like that. So... And then this is, so this is with the brown color. This is with just the pink before. So you can see the difference. So I really like how this came out. Um, and I'm going to go in eventually and I'm going to add um, these flakes in some spots because they look like fish scales. If you look at them really closely. Whoops, I just dropped a bunch. Um, they look like, and these are by Prima 2. They, um... They look like fish scales, so by adding this to this in certain areas, it will kind of take the nautical feel out of it. So yeah, that's how you get the color tone of that iridescent, distressed, pearl color. Um, so again, it used to be this color. Um, I don't know, maybe you can, you can see it better on this. It used to be that, and now it looks like this. And that's one just with the pink, and this is the one with the brown distressing in it. And I'm going to pick it up and show you um, here. So that is the finished. It's not dry all the way, so that's why it still looks wet. But that is the finished mm -hmm. look. That's just the pink, but that is the finished tone. And I'm going to go in and add this in certain areas. Thanks, Patricia. So I'll talk to you all soon. Let me know what you guys think. Um, and see ya. Oh, wait. I forgot. Hold on. Not see ya. For the edges, and I'll do this on this one just because um, I didn't paint them with the metallic paints. Like the pastel colors for a reason. And I said I was going to tell you guys that reason. And I didn't do that. So let me do that real quick. Since this one's almost done. Since this one is almost done, and I'm not going to do that on the flakes on camera because it will take too long to dry. Um, and this is still wet, but it's fine. This color here is what is going to go on the outside. Cause I thought that a darker color on the outside will just kind of make this pop a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to be very careful when doing this, and I'm going to use this color. 
super pretty. It's like a purpley plumish. And I just spilt it on me. Way to go. And I'm actually not going to waste it. So I'm actually just going to use it. And I got it on my ring. Anyways. Just give me one second. Because this is expensive paint. So I'm actually going to just wipe it off. And do that. And I will wash my ring. So give me, give me one second. Because I have a little oopsie doopsie. <laughs> I made a mess on myself. So, besides that, just give me one second so I can clean my ring because it will ruin my ring. And that, my boyfriend will not be happy with me. So let me, I'm just going to take a baby wipe real quick and just wipe off my fingers because they're sticking to each other. And I'm going to wipe off my ring. And now I'm a-okay. And I'll put it back on when I'm done so I don't mess it up more. Alright, back to this. I'm going to paint the sides now. So, I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to actually get this on the top. And I may or may not have to do this in two coats. I might have to do two coats, but that's alright. So I'm just going to go in and paint around. So just let me do one side. And then I'll show you, and I probably need to do two coats, so. Which is okay. I don't want it on the top, so don't do that, Brittany. Of course, I'm doing it anyways. So yeah, this definitely needs two coats because I want like a solid color. And this paintbrush, I think, was already wet. So that was my fault. And, ah! Alright. Sorry guys, almost done. Alright, so now I'm just going to go in with two coats real quick. Or about two coats. I kind of just messed it up. <laughs> I keep getting it on the front and I don't, because I'm trying to do this quickly. So, all right, well, it's not completely two coats because I didn't let it dry really in between. I keep getting it on the front though. But anyways, that's how the side looks. And you can see how this just, doing that makes this just pop out even more. So, I don't know if you guys can see the color, but it makes this pop, like, seriously. So, um, I'm really happy with how these came out. Let me know what you guys think. Um, thank you for watching, and I love you all. Bye! So, yeah, super stoked. Let me know what you guys think, and if you guys want to see any other videos. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye. I don't know how to end this, so let's see. How do you... Uh...